Good evening everybody. This is Jennifer. Thank you so much for popping by my channel today. I have another um, Crop and create delivered. This is for the paper crafting or the fall one they're calling it And uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. Here's some of the pictures front and back This is a smaller kit than the last one that we did. That was the big September cards edition. This is about half the price and it has I think six full classes, three mini classes. So it's about half the amount of things too. So it was maybe like 160 I think. Still so much stuff in the box. I'll show you in a second. But uh, it comes, this one has another beautiful binder. It flips through all the different classes that you're going to get with directions, places for notes. Um, prep stuff that you can do then there's videos to see also and I'm just going to show you what is in the box because it's big box full of stuff and then we have a hot pink one this time very very pretty and I'm going to take them out one by one and just show you what we got Okay. First thing that comes in it, um, in one of the big reusable pouches that I love, and they have, if you saw my other video, they had a turquoise of these little dishes. That's why I put the pink background on. It's, it's so cute, and to put whatever you're going to in there, whether it's snacks or die cuts, whatever, but I just love it. And the melamine, very cute. So that came for everybody. They also had one of the cute little pens here. Whoops, we got debris on there, scrapbook. And cards in rose gold and navy very sweet and these were just extras and I don't know I think this is one of the instructors does a water coloring like she did the um, sunflower in the last one so we'll have that and then this was just extra bits and pieces for you so you have the clear like the dew drops the clear ones um, day in the life the ephemera and there's 34 pieces just in that and then the Day in the Life paper pad from Echo Park. And let's see. 20. Okay. Day in the Life. So this is just cute. And see, like, each month they even have that. April. Very cute. I think this is adorable. To do. Habits. August. There's a quotes in each of them. Like, so whether you're making your own little calendar or, or a book for the year. Mini binders. And then we have it again. Isn't that cute? So that was just an extra um, bonus to go along. I don't believe that was for any of the classes. Okay. We've got the, from Simple Stories, big pack of the foam stickers. And obviously this one you can see about cooking. Look at the size of that recipe. And kitchen, look at these. Uh, I like these a lot. So I don't usually, I know a lot of people, I only get bits and pieces here and there with Simple Stories. I really should get more because I like them. Next one, we have chipboard stickers. Look at the family, our little cookies, the old-fashioned scale. Gotta love that. And I think it's just the one page. Um, you can see that for this class, this is one where, I don't know if you can how well you can see it on here, but it's the pocket pages where you can put the different, like this is a 4 by 6 and I forget what those are, 2.5 by 3, something like that. Then you've got a couple sheets of just plain cardstock as well as with let's see can we do it this way here simple stories again what's cooking front and back look at how cute this page is oh my gosh is that not darling p is for pumpkins love it another just sweet paper very cute look at the great cut aparts turkey gravy beans and rolls let me see that casserole turkey pie nap repeat so i just i love this so cute so definitely I'll be using this side even though the other side's cute same thing sweet as pie what floats your gravy boat let's eat spice spice baby I mean how adorable are these okay and just white paper them with it so that is for one of this and obviously um, if you saw the thing paper craft this is going to be as you can tell scrapbooking mini albums layouts that kind of thing now I know some people t take this and they use this to make their cards with so they just adapt it to the way they want to use it, which is awesome too. The next one, okay, look at this. Okay, again. So, and these are all different um, teachers. Let me, so the What's Cooking class was with Jess Forster. Um, this one, I'm, we're making a flip book, Farmstead Hardest Flip Book, Jane Eubank. 
and I do see her. I subscribe to her channel, so um, you know, there's great stuff online on YouTube. And this is just so cute. Look at the the board, like how it looks. Again, we're just going right here with the different shapes. If you can see, like this has four, a four by six, and the two smaller ones. So flip books in there. Okay. Then it comes with. Let's see, let's toss it, pull all this out. We've got Farmstead Harvest, and again, this is going to American Crafts. Yeah. Okay. Farmstead Harvest. Here we've got 75 pieces of ephemera. I don't know if you can see those. I think those are vellum. They are vellum on that one. All kinds of die cuts there. This one again, 64 ephemera. We've got the vellum and regular pieces. Look at the little tickets. Look at how cute that is. Uh, I'm not even going to pull them all out because we'd be here all day. Then we've got our stickers here. I'm thinking, is there more than one? Yeah, I was going to say, it's got to be more than one sheet. So look, if you want to do the 12 by 12, but this is meant, I mean, obviously you can use that for it, but the flip book is what? Like 7 by 7, 8 by 6, something like that. Um, but all very cute, really cute stuff. Next is, there's so much in this box. Uh, 47 puffy stickers. Like, who doesn't love still puffy stickers? Get to a certain age, you remember them fondly. Okay. And then, here we go with just some of the craft cardstock. We have some plain cardstock in here. Uh, I always like the very nice colors. And, of course, it's all coordinated. So, thankful for you. Give thanks. Count your blessings. And we have great... I like that. Now, see, I like both those sides. I always say that, don't I? Like, I want a second one. Very cute. Those are like leaves on the back. Here we have our pretty deer. Pretty. I am not so much in the grays when it comes. I know that's popular, but not in my world. I don't have a lot of grays. <laughs> so, very pretty. Here we go. Just more pretty flowers for fall. So, basically, you know, you have your whole, just the whole entire collection and everything is pretty and coordinated and think of how many pages layouts or my goodness if you are doing cards or just this is just for a mini album how many pages you would have here just for a full album so look at that that's cute with acorns and mushrooms see the pattern there and we have some cute cut aparts and tags very nice okay so that was the next class we're going to do i'm just going to set this all aside so all these, this is what I use, I think someone commented to me before on these. I use these, um, the dividers, 12 by 12, to store things and my scrapbook stuff, like with the Anna Griffin Create, same thing. So I can hold the 12 by 12 plus, you know, all these things still fit in there to volume it up. Okay, so let me pull the next one out. Okay, and this collection, Simple Stories, Acorn Lane. This last, it's called Simple Shapes, Beautiful Backgrounds, and it's from Simple Stories, and it's taught by Becky Adams. Okay, so again, we've got Acorn Lane, different little journaling bits, ephemera, 17 pieces. You can see them all in the back there. We've got, oh, that ripped? Acorn Lane, 60 pieces, floral bits. And again, you can hopefully see through the glare there a little bit. Can I angle it? Can you see them? A lot, a lot, like, a lot of pieces. Isn't they put look at that little tiny bird in there? Can you, know, can you see him? Cute. Okay, then we've got our foam stickers again. Autumn gathers family. Isn't the color cozy fall? Autumn vibes. Hello, thankful, blessed home. And you know, November, cute. I, I have a hard time a little bit with these ones because we don't get fall <laughs> in um in South Florida where I am. I mean, we just don't. So, <laughs> I changed these up to use, like, trips to the kids when they did Halloween, pumpkin patch, things like that, mo more often than not. Okay, so beautiful colors here, solid, and then the print, the dots, which I think I like better. And let's see, this is our 12 by 12 collection kit. Let's take a quick peek at that. Mm. I sell some of the finished things, which I can't really show you, but oh my goodness, they are lovely. The, the samples and what they're making are gorgeous. So we'll just quickly flip through here. Here's that little birdie again. Isn't he adorable? Okay. 
We've got acorns, little hearts, pretty flowers, there we go. more beautiful leaves. Okay, here's this. This is cute. That's very, I like that. <laughs> this is cute. Okay, our foxes. How sweet is that? Go now, that is a gorgeous fall plot. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and here we have the cut apart rainy days. It's autumn time with a great part. Let's get cozy. Happy fall, y'all. Then plain if you want to use them for your journaling, of course, that kind of thing. More cut apart. I love this little box. Pumpkins or mushrooms. These are cute. Here for the food. Right? Beautiful. That's a pretty page. Hate to cut that up. Another one. So all these cut aparts, I mean, I'm hoping you can see them because I know, you know, when it edits, it kind of cuts off part of them. Leaves are falling, autumn's calling. Give thanks every day. Very cute. Pretty paper. And more cut aparts. Wow, this is a lot of them. Very nice. Let's see. I like I really like that. And beautiful again. And here we have four by six. So if you want to do your cards, that certainly makes it easier. Gather and be grateful. Best thing about fall is being together. Really sweet. That's a pretty paper too. And then our stickers that coordinate with that whole collection. Okay, so let me try and get all this back. So the next one is called, and I don't know if this is actually the sticker sheet from, um, I think it's Echo Park, no, Cartabella, Happy Crafting, but it's Crafting the Good Lights, and it's being taught by Virginia Neville. I am not familiar with it, so that is new to me. I will show you what came with this. So, there is, I know they said, one is a stencil to make... I'm not even sure. Some kind, I think, like, when I look at it, some kind of rosettes or something. I don't even know. I'll we'll have to see when I get it. I haven't looked through it. There is a clever little, because it's about creating, crop and create. So they made their own little die and everything. We've got the little sort of like bunting banners here. Very cute. Certainly can use that for everything. And here you have, they are not... At first, I thought they were rosette, but I believe they said in the unboxing. Hang on, if I can get it, that they fold, you cut, and it scores and dies to make a fan. So not a rosette, but a fan. So we'll have to take a look at that and see how they come out and how they're going to be used. But that would be really cute to have for all your cards. So it's, I mean, there is so much, like, can you see how much is in there in just this one, for this one class? Okay, so the first one, let's see, we've got the stickers from Summer um, Sunkiss Collection, and I think that's Echo Park. We've got, let's see, so there's several pages. The one, first layout is the crafting, and then it goes into, I think, like, the beach kind of vacation vibe our story matters so we have just solids here okay that's going to go with this then we've got my goodness i feel like i'm just like all over the place plain white so that's going to be on the back of the layout here we go happy crafting if i can find where it opens i will show you what's in it <laughs> oh my gosh i can't get it open where is it that? there we go I had to pull it out of the uh, the sleeve. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's really thick. Okay, happy crafting. So really, oh, gotta be Cardabella. You can feel that paper. Yeah, Cardabella. It's got that thick the texture on it. Very cute. So for all our happy crafters, look at this. Is this not adorable? Happy crafting. It's my happy space. Look at the old-fashioned keyboard, watercolors, our markers. Craft more, worry less. Okay. Get the flip side look at that hot scrappy creative look at that pretty crop and create memory makers art it's just adorable really cute here we go all scissors i think that's so cute too it's really sweet there we have another typewriter a crop and create crafty stuff i can't i'm crafting today how perfect is that <laughs> crafty vibe there we go more of our tools who has all these in there right love it ah 
and this look at all the albums like the spines i would love to have like a wall that just looks like that really pretty this actually it's got like paintbrushes scissors i don't know if you can see it in the light it's like tone on tone gorgeous 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 paper here we've got some of just our little tags and all and here we go back again with using them as cut aparts all of it it's just adorable uh, same thing adorable pretty little daisy kind of flowers grapes i like that i really like this one very cute and our stickers that we have so that's just a cute cute i've never you know what for as much crafting as you i've never done a layout like that would say oh hey i'm a crafter and here's what i do it's from i think mari clark is teaching this but these are items from um violet studios and oh my gosh you get the whole card making kit okay so let me just show you oh, my things are a little bent in there it says makes 10 cards did i get it all out okay so you've got twine original twine a whole slew i don't know how many are in here if it says i can't see how many is in there but there's just gobs of i'm not going to show but all kinds of fall you know the ephemera then you've got okay obviously our envelope six by six navy and the like craft card for our card bases and we've got whoops oh even look the little adhesives some die cut little like leaves already you can see them and the pretty pattern paper so it's two of each of these so really cute so i think they're going to do cards and a layout very nice lovely colors it's a great colorway there so you get that whole kit and let's see if i can get this back in cool let's show you look at this paper pack it's got lovely papers and there's a whole bunch of it so you're gonna have so much left over from this so here we go like i mean that, isn't that i just think that's is this navy and there's actually a little tone on tone navy dots but you've got two of them then we're gonna go to our mushrooms again two of those everything single-sided very cute gorgeous plaid here with the navy that's navy and kind of like red in the background like a brick red here we've got with the wheat leaves and then look at the next page after that i mean how there's two of each how awesome is that and this again is violet studios which is so affordable for from crafters companion in case you didn't know that was one of their lines um and you can sometimes find it in fact right now they've got uh what their outlet sale up to 80 percent off so some deals were good some were really good and they did have some violet studios on there some inks some dots some of everything but you should um take a look because they did have a bunch of the 12 by 12 pads and i'm telling you they were like six dollars or something ridiculous on there 650 so here we go Ugh, that is just beautiful with the navy love it okay we're almost done here got another couple of the plaids but this is all just for this one class. You're not making a whole album, but my goodness, they've given you enough to for at least the base pages for an entire album here. And we're still going. And we're still going. And we're still going. And it's, I, I'm thinking it's 180 probably, GSM, I think. Uh, gorgeous. Look at all the gourds. Love it. Okay, so that is her class. Okay, and I'm not sure what the name of the class is, but it's by Mari Clark. Holy moly, look at all this stuff. This was American Crafts and Vicki Booten, but I think Destination Documented. So it's American Crafts and Vicki Booten's uh, items, and Megan Andrew is teaching it. Okay, so first thing, look at this. Just, uh, just where to next? 200 pieces in here. Hey, look, there's all these different, I'm going to try and hopefully it's focusing zoom it in close enough loving loving this life a beautiful day looks like postcards and all this ephemera and tickets and stubs and hibiscus and it's just gorgeous bingo cards so 200 pieces there next thing the thickers so we have white with the gold aren't they gorgeous love it okay we have some gold of our little gems a whole pack there next 
from Vicki Booten. And again, this is her Where To Next. So, a little getaway adventure, up, up, and away, Best Vacay. And then, you know, we have our little hotels. Here on the back, more stickers. Love this here, this place, fun, happy, all cute. Look at the tabs, very cute. I'll show you the papers. Also, you can see, again, one of the like uh, dividers. So there's like four by six and what would that make these? Two by threes, four by six, two by threes, three by twos, whatever you want to put. So for slot and it's going to do several pages, full page. And then you add this kind of in between for all those extra things you want to document and photos. So I just, I love scrapbooking. So, and then there's two, let's see, some whites and also what they call flip it's where you can attach it onto your thing. And so you have extra, um, photos along with that layout so we've got two of those in there also and let's see this is just plain some white cardstock for the base of the layout and i'm just gonna go through these quickly so you can take a peek here we go look at all our pretty stubs really pretty that's really cute paper so we've got two of those let's see one of these we've got our lemons beautiful oh i think these moments take a deep breath oh see now that's really pretty and that I wish they put you know the plain one on something else so like that is cute but I could do that but that is just lovely tropical especially down here <laughs> I love it isn't that pretty I mean look at those gorgeous colors you know, which is they're right up and down there you go with the hearts very cute just I like the colors on it ah pretty i've seen what they're gonna do with this and i it's nice <laughs> it is really really nice so i can't comment and can they don't want you showing all the details in the book until after um the classes are over and everybody's seen it some people don't want to be you know they don't want that out there and i'm going to respect that so really cute cut aparts there more let's see more a time to go on an adventure envelopes greetings from paradise yep that's me <laughs> okay here look at this uh, isn't that really cool so i know again i know what they're doing with this and i really like it on the layout pretty colors and more fabulous cut aparts okay so that is that class and there's just so calling a mini class so we've got some several sheets of Nina cardstock. And again, this is Mari Clark, but this is Crafter's Companion. So um, Radiant Rhinoculus. Okay, I actually have this <laughs> stamp. And two of the Trivalin brush pens. So you've got it in citrus green and in the purple blend. And they're just, you can see the colors a little thing. You see the colors with it? Gorgeous. And everybody, I mean, I think everybody try blend pens let me say that right and this does make a gorgeous card so that was one of the mini classes take one of the last big classes this is multi-photo love hello fall and it's the echo park i love fall collection that is being used for it so if you know, haven't had these or want to take a quick peek we've got the chipboard accents from the i love fall collection kind of hard to see i know then we've got their enamel dots which are cool because they're a little bit flatter and just shiny and pretty in all different sizes we've got the ephemera and there is i don't know how many are in here pieces and you can see hopefully um the different frames tags sentiments that kind of thing so very cute all all the right colors everything coordinated like everything else from echo park let me take this out We've got, here's the solid colors. I don't need to pull them apart, but you can just see. So we've got, and then we've got the collection, which if you've been buying the Echo Park, like I do, you've probably seen all my warehouse haul <laughs> videos. Oh, just love them. But I love fall. Here we go. So here we've got some pretty, pretty colors. Our gorgeous cut aparts here. Fall, sweet fall. Oh, hello, fall. Fall is in the air. Isn't that, look at that with the little truck and acorns and everything. Adorable. Here we go. Pumpkin patch this way. Love that. And again, oh, so pretty on the back. And here's the pumpkin patch, I guess. So sweet. Really cute. Really, really cute. 
this, these are just, this is such a pretty one. Here's one that I'll probably buy another set from Echo Park directly because it is really pretty. But like I said, um, I would do Thanksgiving and, you know, the kids' pumpkin patch, that kind of stuff. Give thanks, happy autumn memories. Really pretty, look at that. So even for Halloween, I miss seeing the changing colors with the leaves my kids were sending. My son was sending me pictures from New Hampshire when he's up there for color changes. Here we go. More pretty, pretty. That is really pretty. That's cute. More cut apart. Fall breeze and autumn leaves. Hello, fall. Welcome, fall. I've been waiting for you. Isn't it cute? Okay. Sweet. It's got like a retro vibe there. Here we've got some pretty tone on tone acorns. Our leaves. Ah, there you go. Our pretty pumpkins and tractors. I would love to have a pumpkin that big. <laughs> there we go. Here we are. More of this. I love you very much. Oh my gosh. Isn't that adorable? I love Paul. Hello, Paul. Nuts about you. These are just absolutely adorable. Okay, here we have our other jars, preserves. Very cute. And all our I Love Fall stickers. Okay, so that is going to be, I believe that's got a bunch of pages in this layout um, that we'll be making. Okay. Here's another one of the mini classes and I don't I don't think it's in the book and I guess okay so the next one is a class called fall in love with layers taught by Natalie D'Souza I don't know her so I'm looking forward to this so we've got the thickers in this gorgeous collection and it's crepe paper I don't again I'm not familiar moonlight magic but it's really cute this this one's called what is it starstruck so look at these again they're thick foam like 3d but thick the beautiful colors our happy place of the stars magic starstruck really really like this one um here this is so cute 60 piece 50 pieces sorry don't have my glasses on look at how cute is that not adorable with the little can you see the little flower hat and then these are in vellum Look at those vellum butterflies. I don't know if you can really see them. I should probably be taking it all out. But I will show you when I finally at some point finish this. I've been searching for photographs to use. And I'm telling you, it is really tough to choose. I, I'm the worst. I'm used to doing photographs and then customizing around the photographs. Doing it backwards is just throws me every time. So we just have some cream paper here to start with. Some ivory. Then first one is you know, there's no one like you to the moon just pretty cut aparts pretty florals there we go again this is all moonlit magic is that right moonlight magic yeah there we go make sure i'm saying it right very pretty paper look at this i mean oh my gosh that is just i think i almost feel like i want to just cut them all out but i have a whole slew from crafter's companion or i would be fussy cutting that whole page here we go and isn't that I mean I think that I don't know what they're going to use but I'm pretty sure they use this one and I just like it <laughs> so I like that old set so that was one of them and we have one more on here and this is going to be I think this is considered a mini class from Doodlebug and let me see who is teaching that Doodlebug it can either be a shadow box or a, a layout spread and she shows us both ways virginia neville again look at this paper i did not know when they were talking about this that doodlebug has been around 20 years and they have the same like 12 core colors that are the same through all their um different creations all their different collections all this time so we have that one and here we have the other side is that not adorable like love them both and then you either have this, so here's like the shadow box insert. So you could put have this, the shadow box, right? And you've got, hang on, you can see the vellum there, how they put it together. And then you're going to actually layer over some of the items, whether you pop it up or just flat, like layer them on top of this to make it uh, more dimensional and, and shine bright, that kind of thing. And then you have it with all the stickers through your whole thing. Isn't it cute? Or in the layout. And then, of course, we have our enamel dots. They call them sprinkles, pastel assortment, and the shape sprinkles. And I don't know what it is. These things, they are flat, but it looks like they're jumping. I don't know. It probably doesn't carry um, on this screen. looks like they're jumping off the page, the little hearts. 
that but it's absolutely adorable and that's it that is what's going to be for this weekend that's what i will be doing friday saturday and sunday if you want to see more and what i do when i get them finished god willing please subscribe and you'll be able to catch up um and then i have coming up i have another one create and crop uh, crop and create delivered is doing a holiday one so this weekend i have this event next weekend is anna griffin create and the following weekend is going to be the crop and create delivered holiday one so keep your eyes out for that and i hope to see you all again real soon let me know if you're going to bye for now